Belinda with Belinda's Baubles, and this is a special video just to give a review on a yarn that I tried for the first time. Uh, this is for the Circulo Whoopi yarn, which is new to the United States, and it is, I'll read all this over here, 100% mercerized Brazilian virgin cotton. It comes with 200 grams, which is 578 yards or 528 meters. It's 7.05 ounces. And this color here is 9957, which I think it was like fire or something like that. I thought it would be on here and it's not. It's beautifully um, knits up and it's in a number two sport weight. It gives you the front. And the back. Now I purchased this for $17 at um, a local yarn shop that's no longer in business over the course of uh, the North Texas yarn crawl this year. And I just, I love the colors to it and I wanted to try something new. Now feeling of it, it's a little bit squishy. And so, but not a ton squishy, but I wanted to see how it did. I originally purchased three skeins for a pattern that is in the Circulo Spring Summer um, book. I thought I could find that pattern online or um, in Ravelry or somewhere other than the book, but I didn't. Uh, the, um, the yarn shop owner offered to get me a copy of it, but I thought, oh, I can find this. I usually can find most patterns, but the circular ones, apparently the ones that are in the book are only in their spring summer book and I couldn't find any available. So I went online to find me another pattern. What I came up with was drops rivage, which is what I have made with it. Now this is, sorry for some of the shading. I'm here in Texas. It's only about 85 degrees at eight o'clock in the morning so far, but we are having a whole bunch of 100 degree days right now. That's why I am in my secret summer crop in a linen cotton blend, which is my go-to uniform this summer, um, at least for the month of August. So, okay, so back to the rivage. This is a free pattern on Ravelry. Sorry for the sh um, shadows. Has a nice garter edge lace sleeves and then a stockinette bottom. It calls for a ribbed um, base and it's done in an A-line. I didn't quite do the A-line and I did the rib a little bit larger than what they call for and I'm still debating on pulling it out and maybe putting a garter edge which is also here on the sleeve to a garter edge on the bottom. I don't know but for right now I wanted to leave it this way. Now, yeah, it's got some creases in it and everything. I've already worn it. Now, I love the color fade of this yarn. And it does have some drape. Ditch definition is great. You can see that. But this is definitely as they say on here, a virgin cotton, because this stuff is rough compared to what we see here in the United States with a lot of cottons nowadays. Most of the cottons we have now are fairly soft. This one, it's, it's still pretty rough. Now it's not uncomfortably rough, but it's not soft like the other cottons I'm used to working with. It did not give me any problems with my hands, though, whenever I was using it 
as um, some of the dishcloth cottons. So it's kind of in between the dishcloth cottons and the wearable cottons. I'm trying to think of one that I could compare it to. I'll put it down here. That is a very soft cotton. This one, though, I love how it, it looks. Now, I did wash this in the washing machine. Yes, in the washing machine on delicate and then hung it up to dry. So if I put a little bit of fabric softener in it, it probably would feel a lot softer and I probably will do that on the next wash uh, just to see how it feels. But it didn't lose. I mean, take a look. Even washing it in the washing machine, the color has stayed true. This is after just one wash, but still. I used a delicate wash soap, but nothing super special. So if you're wanting to make something maybe for kids or um, just something that you want it to be a little um, stronger garment, this would work really well. I mean, I'm not going to not wear this. I'm still wearing this. It's just, it doesn't feel like a cloud when I put it on. So the grade that I would give to the Circulo Whoopi yarn would probably be about a four. It would make great kids clothes, something that you need to be able to throw in the washing machine or just something for everyday wear for yourself. I mean, if you're wanting to make something for yourself that you can wear every day and not just on special occasions and you don't need to treat super special, this works. If you're looking for a super soft um, cotton yarn, this isn't it. But I, would I buy it again? I'm not sure. If it was a color that I really wanted or a project that needed something um, that would be easy care, I probably would buy it, especially to make something for kids. But for myself, probably not. There's enough, enough other options out there. But I don't want to discourage you from it because they do have some wonderful colors. And if you're wanting something that you can really beat up a little bit, this could probably work well for a blanket. So this is my review. I purchased all of these items myself. I have not been paid for a review, and this is just an honest review that I wanted to give you of my experience because Circulo is coming more and more into the United States. Um, and I hope it goes well for them. Just, I think I would stick more with the amigurumi personally, their amigurumi objects, and see what happens with their other yarns. I am going to be watching them. Thank you so much for joining me today. And please do um, take a look at some of my other content. I do a monthly video on knitting and crochet, just my journey. I'm not something super special, but it's my fun journey. So join us over there. I also go on yarn crawls. I have a um, DFW yarn um, fest coming up in September. And there's just a lot of stuff happening. Christmas in July, uh, and just whatever I feel like getting up to. Also, there will be a make along on my channel that is starting up uh, the 1st of September. So you never know. Come see what is happening over on Belinda's Bobbles. Please do like, share this um, video to help me grow my channel. And I would love for you to become a subscriber. Thanks so much and see you next time.